Oh, what's the word, Rax? How you doing, bro? Man, how you coming, Truth, man? What it do? Man, I'm cool, man, bro. I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to speak with you. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, I know who you is, but you'll let the people know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Man, it's the one and only WMG Rax, man. One of No Love City finest, man. 56 and Union shit, you know. Right. Now, you said something that I kind of want to pinpoint on, to be honest with you. I actually spoke with a guy a little while ago by the name of Nino. Uh, you know Nino, though. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the guys, for sure. Okay, most definitely. Shout out Nino. But you said something I want to target. You said no love city. Right? Yeah, that's exactly why I'm born and raised. My whole, my whole life. Okay, now I want to ask you something. Can you tell me exactly, like, what is considered no love city? Like, what's the block to that considered? No love run from 55th, low, all the way to 61st, damn near, like, you know what I'm saying, Racine. And then sometimes, like, a little bit past Racine, you got niggas, in Mar niggas on, like, on Marsfield that claim no love, too, like, on 57th and Marsfield and shit like that, though. So, right. you know, I mean, they used to. Shit, I don't know if they claim and bang now, though. You know, I just know motherfucking, you know, no love big as hell. One of the biggest sets in Inglewood. You know, I'm not going to lie. When I hear about No Love, and I got a lot of sources, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, I hear about a lot of, you know, not to be messy or nothing, but I hear that area has, like, a lot of oppositions and shit like that. I hear, like, a lot of shit involved in street shit. But I also hear it's, like, a money area. Uh, I want to ask you, that's the same area famous Dex from? Yep, born and red. Y'all be born and red. Y'all right there. 56 of Emerald. My other block. How was it growing up over there? You know what? As a child, man, it was humbling, man. It was it, it was it was decent, you know, when we was kids. You know, I'm, I'm from the 90s. You know, I was born in 91, so my era, we was able to go outside and play. You know what I'm saying? Till the street lights came on or a little bit after or whatever. You know, it was, you know, it was dangerous, but not as dangerous as it is right now today. Like, you can't find a kid outside playing jump roping and hopscotching and shit like that. So, it was decent as a child, but, you know, as I got old and dove deep into the streets... It got pretty, you know, it got treacherous. You know, I lost a lot. Learned a lot. Right. You know, I want to know if, 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 like how you just described it, how people used to hang out and chill, that's, that's not happening no more, right? No, nobody, you ain't going to find nobody posted up on no corn and no shit like that. You know, no. That's like that rap shit, that street shit that became like real life. I mean, no, like, like, like we, a lot of us implemented the, the real life in the music. You know, the music ain't making the streets. The streets is making the music. We just real street niggas okay. just trying to entertain the world the best way we know how. You know what? That was deep. That that was kind of deep what you said. You know, I'm not going to lie, Rax. I, I, I didn't talk to people who kind of close to you that told me you've been doing this for a while, okay? For a while. Okay, now this is the thing. What exact... Okay, the drill culture then came. It hasn't been here for a while. You know, it's been here eight, nine years. What exactly happened where we didn't see you at? Because, you know, I, I heard of you for a long time now. What what, what, what kind of happened? You, like, would stop rapping or something? No, nah, this this what happened. Like, I used to go by King Michael, you know, my real name, Michael King, you know. So it was, like, subliminal. Um, And I was doing my shit. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not what you could consider a drill rapper in a way. I'm a real rapper. I talk about... You know, shit I've seen, shit I've been through, the trenches. I don't incriminate myself. I don't bring up my guys, the opposition. I don't talk about the dead. So that's how I kind of miss me because it ain't always that I'm smoking on this person and you feel me? I don't, I don't rap about shit like that. I, 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 I'm an artist. I'm, 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 one of, I'm one of the motherfuckers from No Love that you can consider an artist. I'm not just no drill rapper. I'm not no famous Dex rapping ass nigga neither. Like, you know, he do his thing. He got his own little style. I just do me. I tell my story in a real way, in a vivid manner. But it missed me because I don't be smoking on people dead homies or the people that, you know, I was beefing with and all that. And I don't talk about the opposition in my music. And then I went fed, right. too, by the way. So. Right, right, right. Hold on, hold on. Now, 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 now before you, you keep going, you just said something. You said you went fed because I do see pictures on the internet of you and, like, you know, in, like, a fed joint or something like that. You got locked up a little while ago? Yeah, yeah I, um... When Dex went and got signed by Rich Boy, Rich the Kid, or whatever the fuck his name is, the feds came and snatched me. This June, I got snatched by the feds June 21st of 2016. You know, felon in possession of, you know, firearms, 922G. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, like, 
I was, I was. I was active, it, you know, ain't nowhere, ain't nowhere around that, that shit, I was active, I was in them streets, I was making money, I was protecting myself, I was protecting my empire I was building, I was protecting my family, my kids and shit, because I was getting money, and then I had ops, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I ain't got ops, like, everybody else got ops just because they back and forth with the shoot em up, bang, bang shit, I got ops strictly from people hating on me, or because how I get to the money, or hating on me because the sad I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Look, when you, when you, when you, uh, I kind of want to, to touch on that fear thing. When you went in there, um, is it a, is it a strong presence of what's going on in Chicago in there? Because I hear a lot of the times that, you know, that street shit go into jails too. Did you feel any of that Chicago shit is happening? You know what? The vibes is definitely there, the tension. But behind them walls, you, you, you really, when you, when you good, you on, you, you know what I'm saying? Your paperwork straight, you on count. You can't be bringing the street politics into the jail politicking. You know what I'm saying? We politic kind of different. It's kind of like we still want love in behind the walls. You know, we got coalitions in the feds. You know, the Moles, the BDs, the GDs, the Lords, the Kings. You know, we all together in that bitch. You feel me? So people, people, they don't know what's really going on. That's why I move different since I'm out and I see shit differently. I move different. I move a little bit better in the streets and, and in life. Because, you know, each one teach one, man. You know, it ain't always about destroying it. each other and tearing each other down, gang. You know, just because you represent the five or the six or you beat or you GD. Shit, I was with all we always was together behind them walls. Okay, and not to cut you off, but you just said something else that I kind of want to pinpoint again, right? You just said it. It don't matter if you BD, GD. Okay, uh, I hear you also got a relationship. Well, first off, you know Famous Dex. Born yeah. and raised with him. Yep, and my people. Yep, and my people. Oh. Okay, but I also heard that you got a relationship or your new boss top two. Born and raised with top. You know what right. I'm saying? He originally on fifty seventh and low. I'm on fifty sixth and low. That was my house was my house was on fifty six. They they grandmas right. and and aunties and all that shit lived there on fifty seven. I you know I got I got I got kids by 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 his cousin. You know I got four four children by by his cousin. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they all on fifty seventh and low. Like you know, born and raised like all these motherfuckers grew up. With me, we was all in the big blue house on 56 Low. All everybody came to our house. We did the wrestling matches and playing the Nintendo 64s and throwing rocks and flipping and all that shit together. So, you know, like I really I know these guys in real life. From hooping to right, gangbanging you know and everything else. And you know the and the reason I asked you that, because it seemed like you know a lot of people uh that's kind of players in the drill culture. And you even one of the players in the drill culture too. So I think you're a good person to ask this. And I ask everybody who I interview this because I really want to kind of get folks to the information on this one. I want to know in Rack's opinion, and you know what I'm saying, I want you to be a honey with me on this too. Um, where's all the aggression coming from? Because every time I, I open up a newspaper or I, I go to an internet clip of the news, there's always somebody shooting somebody. Like, where do you think all that anger comes from? I'm going to be honest. It's a real current cycle of loved ones that was lost dealing with these different feuds with different neighborhoods. It's not a BDGD war in Chicago, bro. I've been telling people that for the long. I'm 30 years old. I ain't never been part of no BDK movement, none of that weird, weak ass shit. I got BD homies. I got BD family members. Like, I ain't with that shit. You know, it's people who be dealing with that. Like, they might be beefing with Old Block or Landron or 600. That shit ain't got nothing to do with Racks or No Love City. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got shit to do with WMG. Like, I hate when other people shit bounce back on us. Cause it might be a block in our hood into it with the BDs. You know? Say say I'm union my block originally. Like union. I'm union the emerald. But but let's just say green or emerald or something beefing with these niggas. That don't mean all us into it or the whole no love into it with that faction of gang member. You know what I'm saying? The internet kind of make it look like that because I see a lot of that. You know what? While we seeing that into it and shit like that, right? I got another question I want to ask you. Uh, and I want you to be honest with me on this one. No beating around the bush. Let's keep it 100 on this. My name's Truth Tell us. I need you to be honest with me on this, right? All right? Hey, what? Um, okay, every time I, I, I seen the cut on this internet, you know, I see something that I don't like. It seems like a rapper is always losing like you know? This year alone, I believe, like, about four to five rappers were killed in the city of Chicago. And this year, not even done. I want to know, in your opinion, um, how do something like that happen? Is it just people funding rappers or 
is it that they're on the internet and they don't have this much money, they still in the hood or like how do rappers get still at that right now? I'm gonna be honest, like it don't matter who you is or where you from, you can get killed anywhere. You could be from Chicago and get killed in Atlanta. Or 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 Florida or some shit. Or you could be from Atlanta visiting Chicago and, and, and die in Chicago, you know? Shit like that really be going on. Um this what it really be. Niggas don't be focused on the real, the righteous shit. Like everybody trying to copy a wave and be and ride a wave to make it somewhere to gain some type of traction in this music industry, right? But sometimes it's not good to do what everybody else doing because you got your oppositions out there watching you or niggas hating on you watching you. And why you think everybody who felt, it don't matter if you were felt or not, why you think the rappers keep guns on them? They out here killing the artists. Like, it don't matter if you got a name in this rap shit. If motherfucker get that chance to take you out and get a name off you, yeah, you smoking your ass. So it's really us as individuals moving sloppy, talking crazy, when we really need to buckle down and do what we need to do for our family and our loved ones, you know? You know if we try